Our Jasmine Payu continues our live coverage on the water worries. And Jasmine's live at the Acme on Snyder Avenue in South Philadelphia where shoppers, we expect them to be looking for more bottled water this morning. Jasmine, I was out yesterday, tried three places, no water. I left empty handed, so I'm sure that was the case for a lot of people. Janelle, it was bottled water is the hot ticket item on the shelves everyone is looking for, and it's all because of that spill. The problem, grocery stores say they're having a hard time keeping up with supply. Now, you can see behind me, there are trucks here, and things are coming off of the truck, but we've been looking all morning, and we did not see any more cases of bottled water. Of course, not sure if that will change throughout the day, but we do know that people want this bottled water now. The store opening at 7 o'clock this morning. So here's a look at some video from yesterday. It was a hectic scene playing out across the region. Social media video showing people grabbing whatever was available and loading up their cars at stores like the BJ's on Oregon Avenue in South Philadelphia. From Chopper 3 overhead, you can see just how long the lines were forming outside of the store. They were also bare shelves at stores like Walmart on Christopher Columbus Boulevard, Target on Mifflin Street, and Acme on Snyder Avenue. Some locations telling people before they get in the store that they are sold out of water, while others are limiting how much they're giving out. While officials suggested people fill bottles with the tap water until tonight, people were not convinced. We spoke with some who say finding bottles water is way harder than they expected. I think it's crazy that it's affecting such a major city um, who already may, may not have clean water at home. We're trying to buy some water, but it's, this is uh, the third place we looked at this tonight. Not anything uh, available, so just making our rounds. It's just a shock to everyone that they have to like go through this, but not only that, people who don't have access to internet have to like find a way to know about this go outside of their houses like get water that they may not have access to or the money to even get it now unfortunately officials say boiling the water will not remove the chemicals that may be there again this store opens at seven o'clock it's unclear if and when they will have more bottled water left in store jim janelle i'll send it back to you in the studio thank you jasmine